What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to center things using place for your apps with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at centering things using place. And you can see when I resize this thing, it stays centered and sort of resizes, moves around accordingly, which is really cool with Kinter, something we don't see by default with the other grid or pack system. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with almost 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. So I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we always have. I've named this file center underscore place dot pi. And what do we want to do here? Let's create a button and let's just call this my button. And it's going to be a button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal like, I don't know, click me. And let's give this a font equals and let's say Helvetica and like 32 to make it really big. Now, normally we would go, you know, my underscore button dot pack, something like that. Or if we wanted to use grid, we could use dot grid. We've done that in tons of videos. Today, I'm going to use dot place. And I've only talked about place a couple of times here and there throughout these last 200 or so videos. And that's because place allows you to very specifically place a widget anywhere on your app. And you can use actual X, Y coordinates, put it at, you know, over X 100 down Y 50 and X is horizontal and Y is vertical up and down. So you can do it very specifically using X, Y, or you can also use something called relative X, Y, and that makes it relative to the app and other things around it. Now, why don't we use place more often? Because, well, if you're using place for everything, it gets to be a hassle. Anytime you want to update one little thing, you have to update everything because with place, especially with relative place, things are relative to other things. So if you move a button over here, everything else would be messed up and you'll have to change everything else. So it makes it kind of a pain in the butt to use. So generally we don't use it, but for certain very specific instances, place is fantastic. And one of those things is centering something right in the middle of the app. So that's what we're going to do here. We've got dot place. And like I said, you could do X or Y, or you could do relative X or relative Y. So let's go relative X equals and relative X and Y are a number floating number between zero and one. So it would be like 0.5. That would be halfway for the X position. And that's horizontal. And if we want it, relative Y, we can also put it at 0.5. Remember, these are from 0.0 all the way up to 1.0, right? That's the sort of span that you can use for relative X and Y, but we want 0.5 and 0.5. We can also anchor this. We've done anchor a lot of times, and I'm just going to anchor this center. And when you're using relative Y, where you anchor, that's where it's relative from to begin with, right? So we want to anchor this relative to center. So we just use center and you can use all the anchors that you normally would north, south, east, west, uh, northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast, etc. So all those you're familiar with, you can use with place. So, OK, let's go ahead and save this and see how this looks. Again, this is center underscore place dot pi. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C slash GUI directory and let's run Python center underscore place dot pi. But before we do that, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Whoa, weird commercial. So, okay. And when we do, we get this center button relatively placed in the middle of our app. And we can resize this, and you can see it stays relative to the size of the app. Very cool, very useful, and just that easy. So one of the nice things about place is that you can use it with grid and with pack. Now, normally, if you use grid, you can't use pack or if you use pack, you can't use grid if they're in the same parent area, right? You could pack a frame and then inside the frame, you can do grid and vice versa. But on the same parent widget, the app or whatever, you can't use both, right? But with place, you can. So let's come up here and let's go button underscore one. That's going to be a button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal, I don't know, button one. And let's also give this a font of Helvetica 32. And let me just copy this. Let's make another one, button two. Do the same thing here. We'll have it say button two. Now, if we want to come down here and button underscore one dot grid, for instance, we can go column equals zero, row equals zero. And if we do the same thing for button two, 
we could go column one, row zero. So this will put a button here and here, and then this place should still be doing its normal thing completely unaffected by these things. So if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, we can run this guy again, and we see we have two buttons in column one and column two, just like you would expect. And we still have this button here completely unaffected. And also, if we resize this, you'll notice these two grid things don't resize because grid doesn't resize, right? But the relative place that we use does. And you can see you can even do weird things like put one button over another button. Place is good for things like that. If you need to overlap things, very hard to do that with grid and pack, but you can bang, place something over something just that easy. So that's how to center with place. Very quickly, I'll just show you how to use the other things. So instead of, let me just copy this and comment this out. For instance, if we wanted to just use X, Y, we could X equals, let's say over 100, Y equals down 50. You could do it like that. If we save this, head back over here, run this guy again. You can see, in fact, we will have overlapping buttons like that. That's how you do absolute positioning. This is not relative, this is absolute. And you notice this will not move if we resize because it's absolute. We've said, hey, put it right here at X100, remember left to right and Y50 up and down. And those always start in the Northwest corner. So that's up here. It's very top left corner right there. So any X, Y coordinate starts there and then you know moves over 100, down 50. Boom, there we are. So you can do it like that too, you know, just another way to use place. I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out and uncomment this so that this is like this. So this will still be in the code if you want an example of this, but just that easy and uh, that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos in the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.